The marshmallow crochet stitch is a quick and easy way to add texture to your design. We're going to make it in a medium weight yarn today. You may have seen the popular marshmallow crochet baby blanket and you can now enjoy it in any other weight yarn. Join me right now. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. In this video, we'll cover the main stitch pattern. To get the video or patterns for the Marshmallow Crochet Baby Blanket and also the accompanying border, please click down in the description below. To begin your crochet, you'll need your hook and yarn. I'm using the hook that's recommended with my yarn. I'm using Red Heart with Love Premium Color Jadeite. This is a medium four weight yarn and I'm using the recommended hook, which is a letter K or US 10 and a half, which is a six and a half millimeter. And uh, this is my Furls hook. It's an Odyssey hook if you're interested. Uh, they also have a wood one, which is a little bit lighter weight. To get your pattern and a row repeat, also the links for any of the products you see, click on that link in the description below. All right, grab your supplies and we'll begin. We're going to start by making a slip knot, however is comfortable for you. I just wind it around my finger twice, lift the back loop over the front loop just a little bit and do it one more time over the tip of our finger. Then we're going to insert in the crochet hook and tighten up. To have slower tutorials on the single crochet and double crochet, be sure and click on our beginner video series, lessons one through eight. Um, lessons one and two will be single and double crochet. Uh, we're going to begin with an even number of stitches. I'm going to do 10 plus the three for um, the uh, plus on the multiple. So we're going to do um, 13 stitches here for this test. And 13 is really easy to follow along with if you want to try it. All right, so go ahead and chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, and so I'm going to do this. Um, this is actually an update to my other pattern. I go into the fourth uh, chain from the hook and we're going to double crochet into that fourth chain from the hook. If you've seen my marshmallow crochet baby blanket video, you see me go into the third chain from the hook. This just is a, an Im improvement on that one. So fourth chain from the hook, we go one, two, three. And on the foundation chain, we're just going into that first little stitch here. Okay, so pull up a loop. And to double crochet, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And then we're going to skip the next two chains. So um, don't look at that one that you were going to that stitch there. We're going to skip one, two, and we're going to go into that third chain. We're going to start with a single. So go right in there, yarn over, pull up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two for one single crochet. And into that same stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. So we're going to yarn over insert into that stitch, pull up another stitch, got three on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do it one more time, yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and so now we want to go into um, the third chain from there. So we're gonna skip this one right here that's very enlarged. We got one, two, go into the third one and repeat this same little cluster that we did. We're doing a single and two doubles into that same stitch. So let's sit the stitch there. That's one double and a second double. And that is the repeat for that particular stitch just by itself. And at the end of this row, um, pause your video if you've done it longer and meet me back up when you have three chains, but at the end of row one, we're just going to do one single crochet into that very last stitch, not into the slip knot, just that last stitch. So pull up a loop, pull through, and single crochet. And that's the first one. Go ahead and kind of pull on that. You've got that um, foundation chain. It could be a little bit tight. You can also go up a hook size just on that first chain and then um, go down a hook size uh, when you're finishing, uh, when you're starting row one. Okay, so we're going to begin row two. Row two is what gets repeated throughout the rest until you get to the length that you want. So begin row two. We're going to chain two, one, two, and turn. 
and we're going to make two double crochets into this same, uh, this first stitch here. So this little hole down here at the bottom of the chain, yarn over, insert into the stitch. Make sure you have two loops on top of your hook here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Repeat that again. Uh, double crochet, yarn over, put it into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to repeat what we've done before. We're going to skip two stitches, in this case, not the bottom chains, but we're going to skip over this one here and this one here, and we're going to the third one. And when you pull out your stitches, you can see it right here very easily, not down here into this hole, but right here. Okay, and you can see there's kind of a, a curve, and you're really going to see it once you're knitting, uh, I'm sorry, once your crochet goes along, you're really going to see these um, little scallops going. So you're just going where that little valley is. So we're going to single crochet into that, okay, and then two doubles into that same stitch. One double, and the second double and then skip over those next two stitches. So one, two, and then go into this one single, and then double, and then double. Okay, and uh, pause your video until you get to the end of the row, and when you get there, it'll look like this. Okay, so we can see this beginning chain from um, the row one, and it'll look similar to this um, uh, when we come back along on the next row. We're going to come back to this side, so you're going to have a turning chain when you, when you finish the next row. So you're just going to go right into that turning chain and single crochet, just like that. So that finishes a row two. You can kind of tug on this now, and that should keep this uh, nice and straight. You shouldn't have it um, too terribly tight at the bottom. So row two gets repeated. Repeat row two, we'll do it one more time, and then I'll talk to you about changing color if you need to. Okay, chain up one, two, we're gonna go a little faster, turn it, two double crochets into that first stitch. Uh, so we got one double crochet and two double crochet. All right, go into this next one. You see that little valley, a single crochet, two doubles into that same stitch. One, two, repeat that again, single, double, and a double. Okay, and then this is the last stitch. Go right into that last one and single crochet. Okay, so that's the end of your row two. We actually have three rows on here right now. If we were going to do a color change, this is where I would be recommending to do a color change. And uh, when you pull through this last stitch, you would actually pull through the next color. If you're doing a single color, just keep going. If you are fastening off and getting ready to finish this, all you would do is Clip your yarn, yarn over, and pull it through at this point, and you would be done and ready to weave in your tails with your tapestry needle. So um, I'll do a few more, and you'll can see you'll see how this uh, straightens out a little bit. It looks a little bit short here. I'll do a few more. Pause your video, and I'll see you in just a moment. There you go. You can see how it's uh, nice and straightened out, and uh, it makes a um, a really uh, really pretty little textured stitch. You can see how uh, every other row is bumped outward, uh, and um, you can see that little texture. When I flip it over, you can see that this part that's bumped outward is kind of in the middle where those other two were. So in order to finish this off, if I was to stop it at this point, uh, I would just cut my yarn here, and ahead and fasten it off by pulling that through that last strand okay and then we just weave in our tails uh, with a tapestry needle and that's it thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches see you again soon